Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this Design Space tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload your own photographs in Design Space and then cut them into fun shapes that you can then print and cut out with your Cricut machine. Hello and welcome to Design Space Daily, helping you learn Cricut Design Space in short and snappy video tutorials. The first one we're going to do is by importing a photo as a print and cut image and then we're going to slice it out into a shape. So click on upload in design space and then upload image. Find the photo you want to use on your computer. So I'm going to use one of my dog. I'm not quite sure why it's rotated it but hopefully that will be alright. Uh, because this is a photo and we're going to be print and cutting it you want to click on complex and then continue. I've used quite a big image even though it was just taken on my phone. Um, I don't need to do anything on this screen, just click continue. Make sure you have save as print then cut image um, pressed and you'll know that it is because of the green border and then click save. My design space is having a little bit of a heart attack because it's tried to import this absolutely huge. So I'm just going to try resizing it and see if that helps it to load. If your photo is taking an age to show then just click on it and change the height so it's smaller and then it should load for you. So I've made mine um, six inches tall, uh, sorry six inches wide. If your photo isn't loading make the size smaller and then it should be okay to load. I'm going to use this rotate button and hold down the shift key and just make my little doggy the right way up. Again, it does take a little while for it to catch up because we're working with quite a big image file here. Okay, so now I want to cut out a shape of my dog. So you can either look in shapes and find um, some shapes in here. So if I choose a heart, I've got that there. Or you can use a Cricut Access uh, image by clicking into images and having a look through there to find out a different shape to cut. For now, I'll stick with the heart. So position it on top of your photo where you want it to cut out. It's a little bit of trial and error because unfortunately there's no way to make the uh, image see through so you can see exactly where you're placing it. But when you think you've got it in the right place, select both of your layers and then press slice down on the bottom right. If I hide some of my layers over here, you can see that's now cut out my little dog in the shape of a heart. If I turn on the original heart and make it larger and just move the layers about, then you can see how you can make little mats um, for your images to give them a border. So I could cut that out of card and then print then cut the um, photo and put it on top and that would look really nice on a scrapbook page or as part of a greetings card. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can um, put your photo into a shape using the pattern feature. So I'm going to just find an image to cut out first um, and one of the nice things about using Cricut Access is that your images that you choose have nice little frames to them so you can cut the frame out of a different colour to your photo and layer it up. Choose that one. We need to upload our photo as a pattern so click into the upload button and then upload pattern on the right hand side. Choose the photo that you want to add and then click save. Once that's loaded press cancel on this screen because your picture isn't going to show up there. Instead, what we need to do is to select the layer that we want to replace with the photo. So in this case, it's that yellow shape. At the top of the page under Fill, click in there and change it to Print because we want to make this yellow uh, shape a print and cut of our photo. In the color box next to the Fill drop down, where it says Color, change that to Pattern. There's a little link that says Filter at the bottom. If you click on that one, you can tick the box which says My Patterns and that will just show you the ones you've uploaded so you can easily choose the photo you've just put in there. Click on the photo and then Design Space will load it onto your shape. So you can see what that's done is it's put the photo on there but it started to tile it at the bottom so it's put the top of the image again 
um, and that's because the photo I uploaded hasn't quite fitted into the shape. Now that doesn't look great, but luckily we can um, change that. So go back into your fill and then at the bottom click edit pattern. To make it so that your photo will fit, you can scale it up either by typing a number into the scale button or by clicking and dragging on the, um, the slider. Now my little doggy isn't filling the shape anymore so I need to add in some um, numbers into the horizontal and vertical boxes to shift the photo along until I can see my pattern. You see this is actually um, still getting bigger. <laughs> my computer's on a bit of a go slow today. So if I put 100 in there, you can see that is slowly starting to move but that wasn't quite enough. So it is a bit trial and error. I've now got my dog sitting in the middle of the shape. So I've used the scale, so it's at 232 in this case, and the horizontal and vertical I've moved as well. You do need to use quite big numbers um, to get it to move lots if you're trying to shift it. So mine I've got 880 in horizontal and 250 in vertical. And that's shifted the pattern around until I can see the bit of the photo that I want to put in the shape. Now I'm happy, I can just click the X and that has already updated for me. So there you have it, two simple ways to add photos into Design Space and crop them into fun image shapes so that you can print and cut them. Now you know how to do this, you can use the technique to make all sorts of fun personalised gifts for friends and family. For example, you could add family photos to greetings cards or print them onto scrapbook pages and create designs in Design Space for them or maybe even um, design your own shadow box frames or other types of photo frame using photos that you've cropped into these fun shapes. You could even combine photos, so maybe put three or four onto your design before you print and cut to make something truly personal and unique that whoever you give it to will be thrilled to receive. If you aren't sure how to use the print and cut feature on your Cricut, check out the link to the video in the description below this one as I've got a whole video dedicated to how you print and cut on a Cricut. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Design Space Daily. Thank you for watching.